Today I'm going to show you how to sync your iMac keyboard or your Apple wireless keyboard to your iPad to be used and you can type with it. You go to settings, you make sure your keyboard is on by pressing this button in the end. You make sure it's on and in discoverable mode. You go to general, Bluetooth, and it shows the keyboard. You click and it'll connect. Now once you connect, you can use the buttons on your keyboard to adjust brightness and and the iPod controls and you could use the play and pause button, fast forward, skip song. You can also use the mute button on your keyboard and the raise volume and lower volume buttons. If you have the iPad specific keyboard stand and dock, your keyboard will be attached to an iPad dock right about there. And you'll have additional buttons to lock the home screen, to go to the lock screen and go to the home screen. When you enter an app to type in, the on-screen keyboard will not pop up because you are synced with your wireless keyboard. You click, you just tap, and you can start typing whatever you want to type. Also, you, if you want the on-screen keyboard for special characters or whatnot, you click the eject button and it will pop up and you have access to all of it normally and then you could just click here to close. Now I will show you how to connect your Apple wireless keyboard to your iPhone. Now just remember when you are connecting make sure your Apple wireless keyboard is not connected to your Mac or any other iPhones or iPads because I'm pretty sure you cannot connect it to it once. You go to settings, you go to general and then you click on Bluetooth you click on it will search make sure your keyboard is in discoverable mode you click on keyboard to pair it and it will start pairing keyboard would like to pair with your iPhone enter the pass key 1676 on keyboard followed by the return or enter key. I've entered the password and now I'm connected. When you are paired to your wireless keyboard it will show up in your up in your status bar that you are paired just like any other Bluetooth accessory. Now I can use this to control the brightness on my iPhone. You, you can use the iPod controls to control your music. You click play. You could fast forward. You could skip to another song. And you can go backwards. And you can pause. You can control your volume. Here. And you can click mute. Of course you can type as well. When you click on the screen, the key, uh, the on-screen keyboard will not automatically come up. If you want the on-screen keyboard up, you can click right here, the eject button, and it will pop up. And that can show and hide it in whatever application that requires typing.